Okay, so we're going to do a, an update video here. Fry's Electronics, an electronics store in Austin, Texas. I did a video last year kind of going around the store shelves and the, the, uh, the shrinking uh, DVD and Blu-ray section. And uh, I hadn't done a video, uh, Fry's video in a while, so I thought I'd come back. Why shoot videos at Fry's? Well, I think in the future, uh, these, these, these videos are going to be important. It's going to be like a video of Tower Records or Blockbuster video. You know, I think the electronic superstore has already seen its day. I don't know how Fry's even exists. Fry's is almost kind of like a time capsule. But they get, they're, they're getting off on vinyl right now. They're really, really investing big, big time in vinyl, as we're going to see in just a minute here. So I started the video at the rear of the store. Uh, that's looking forward to the right. That's the entrance where you usually came in. And these, as you can see, these used to be magazine racks. They've all been replaced with uh, records. Uh, $20, $30, $40, all the classic rock crap that you're going to rebuy for the billionth time. The Tribe Called Quest, Jeff Buckley, you know, all the, all the stuff. Well, 13 bucks, that's not that bad, but I think the thing is only retails for 16 or 19. Mariah Carey, Billy Squire. Was that Billy? No, it's not Billy Squire. What would it be? Sika, Sia, whatever. Daft Punk. Uh, Johnny Cash, Credence. Some good stuff here. Uh, Foo Fighters. Yeah. Slayer, of course, the newest Slayer. Pretty good price for the Bowie uh, collection. Uh, picture disc, Back to the Future picture disc, Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, the NWA, Journey, Mega Trainer, uh, One Direction, Purple Rain. Prince just died a few weeks ago, so they had to uh, stock that. Lana Del Rey, Michael Jackson. So they've got uh, the Michael Jackson Thriller picture disc. All that good stuff, Wolf Mother, and they've even got this really nice, uh, cool releases. Okay, so Prince just died, so they have a whole Prince section. Uh, There's a lot of Prince stuff that's out of print, but this is pretty much the good stuff. The hits, the greatest hits, packages, Purple Rains, the first album, the self-titled album, Purple Rain Blu-ray. Huh. And they've got tons and tons of... Uh, uh, that's uh, Phase 2, Hit and Run Phase 2, his new album, which came out before he died. Actually, a good, really good album, Hit and Run Phase 2. I've been listening to it a lot. 1999, of course. And there was... Uh, look here, looky here. What do we have? It, it is the rapidly de declining Blu-ray section. Uh, yeah, they, they, they have little sales. I mean, there's some good stuff here if you want to get into it. Long ago, they... they put these with the spines out uh, so they can just pack what w what used to be like about five rows into two. This is all, all the Blu-rays in the entire store are here. It's rather sad. Four bucks for Public Enemy. I guess that's a not a bad not a bad deal. Okay, here's the horror section. The horror section has been squishy squished down. So you've got the aliens, you've got the anacondas, the avatars. You've got Dune here. Doomsday Books, Flash Gore in the Forest. And yeah, that went to Blu-ray pretty quick. Splinter, The House of Wax. You can get Hellboy for eight bucks. Halloweens. And of course we've got the Jurassic Parks and uh, yeah. You know, eight bucks. Eight dollar deals. Of the DVDs that the Blu-rays have been eight dollars for a while or are now back at eight dollars. Uh, okay, right next to this is the high res, high res, the Ultra HD 4K with the sleek black eco cases. By the way, these are eco, they're, so they're hollow cases, uh, but even, but they sure look pretty uh, on the shelf. Black, black Viva Elite type cases. It's a type of Blu-ray case. Wild, yeah. Because we, we need to see Wild in 4K. That's very important. And the Pineapple Express. We need to see that. Uh, tax oh, Taxi Driver. Yeah, we need to see that in 4K. It's actually pretty... That looks like a nice packaging. Yes. And Spider-Man. The Revenant, of course. An HDR... 
high dynamic range. And as you can see, good stuff. Doesn't look like it has many special features though. Look at that. Salt, Sicario, Smurfs too. Oh, definitely. We've got the 3D stuff, another uh, useless format sitting right next to the soon to be useless format. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Look at all that stuff. Great stuff. And then, of course, next to it, we've got the, the anime stuff. And the, the big, oh, look at these. There's the big picture. Remember that uh, Kevin Bacon? Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, they've got some good deals on some comedy. Comedy, uh, oh, and that's it. <laughs> that's the end. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I I enjoyed it. Uh, but the, the, the Blu-ray pickings are getting kind of lean. The vinyls are overtaking the Blu-rays uh, by a, a large margin, it seems.